It's Tuesday, June 9th, 2015. I'm Andre Grant, while cozy in these streets, and this is The X Daily. Snoop Dogg found himself being filmed on CBC Radio being the dog father with a camera woman. In Canada don't play that, though. And the woman quickly retorted that Snoop was being sexist. You can decide that for yourself. Check the clip. Yeah, how's the hospitality? Hospitality's been awesome, baby. I like your camera girl, too. She's big. <laughs> Damn. I wasn't even looking down like that. Now I'm forced to look down at the camera. Look at there, look at there. Look at the shit on that quitter. <laughs> Was Snoop being too D-O-double-G? Let us know. Up next, OG Mako has never been afraid to speak his mind. And this time, he took aim at Houston artist and frequent Kanye collaborator Travis Scott, where he talked about him making an Atlanta record. Here's what he had to say on Twitter. What is impressive about an Atlanta record made by a non-Atlanta native backed by two of the biggest artists and producers? Anyone? I think it's more impressive that the real Atlanta youth is making major strides without cosigns and stacked teams. We empower each other. I'm saying this and I'm a fan of Travis Scott, but we gotta draw the line if we're gonna take the game. We gotta be legendary in our own right. And after fans came for him, he retorted, y'all get mad at me because y'all too pussy to say what you think and I think that's hilarious. Think OG has a point? Let us know in the comment section. Finally, Slum Village slid through DXHQ to talk about their upcoming project, but they also talked about the 15th anniversary of Fantastic Volume 2. Check the Fantastic. With Slum Village, we're going back. Digital don't hurt or help us. I mean, it's cool to have it, but what up? we're going back, though. We're making classic pieces now. We're doing box sets. We're doing one-of-a-kind items. So we, we see our music like museum pieces now. We don't do it just to do it no more. You know what I'm saying? That's why when we did the box set, it was like one of the Dilla box set. That's one of a kind. You're never going to see this again. That's the type of joints we going to do. So it's, it's, it's less about the music and more about the legacy of how we present the music. And I think... That's what it's going back to. Like people buying vinyl again. It's hard to get vinyl. You gotta wait, like how many weeks, Jay, to get some vinyl? Like 12 weeks. Like 12 weeks, you used to get vinyl in a month. Boom, vinyl. That's what we doing, drop it on vinyl. Yes, it's back. People are back on vinyl. Young dudes is buying vinyl. So we making our stuff more like pieces. It's like, you done heard all the music that Slum can do. You already know we got that shit. It's about, it's about the collectors now. It's about, it's it's like people lining up to get the yays. It's like, these are the pieces. You, you ain't gonna see this no more. That's what we doing with our, our stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I think that makes it more timeless. It's, you know what I'm saying? You can just throw stuff up on iTunes all day. You know what I'm saying? That don't mean nothing. You know, it's about the pieces. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We got volume one and volume two on cassette. on cassette now. We just released that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, I mean, we talking. We got a lot of stuff planned. You know, we talking about dropping a whole album on cassette only. No yeah. iTunes, no vinyl, All no nothing. All that, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just full tape. Excited for that analog drop? That's it for today's most interesting hip hop headlines. Let us know what you think about it in the comment section below. And as always, for more music and news, visit hiphopdx.com.